From the beaches to the valleys, your news channel starts right now. Good evening, I'm Scott Hennessy. And I'm Tracy Lair in for Beth Farnsworth. The recent storms have caused a serious hazard on our beaches for humans and marine life. News Channel's John Palminteri is live. John, this involves damaged lobster traps. You know, we're down here at Ledbetter Beach, one of the areas that were hit very hard by those massive waves we saw in January. It not only damaged the coastline, but it was particularly damaging to the lobster fishing industry. We want to work with them on improving their methods so we don't have these ropes and lines and buoys and traps coming ashore. The environmental group Heal the Ocean and the fishing industry are talking about ways to prevent a massive number of lobster traps from hitting the beaches in the future. The fierce winter storms already broke at least 200 of them loose. On this trip, we saw many buried in the sand and debris between Hope Ranch Beach and Hendry's Beach. The traps are a hazard in and out of the water, but the ropes can be deadly to marine life. It gets tangled up around a marine mammal, seal, whale, you know, shark, any, anything that swims out there can get entangled in this. And this is extremely strong. The Earthcomb Group, known for cleaning homeless camps, was digging in here, helping to get some of the most difficult traps. Small rocks, they're about you know, the size of a softball. There's a whole ton of them. Like, they're, they're, it's hard for us to use a shovel that's we have home. Today was the perfect time with the low tide. All the stars aligned, yeah. so we come in and swiftly do it with that short time window that we have. So the goal is to get it done with no injuries. While these traps may be mangled, this metal base is of value to the fishermen and they can retrieve them if they can identify the trap by a specific tag. So this is a tag that's issued to them, and this, it, this lets uh, the Department of Fish and Wildlife know who the owner is of these. It took several trips to load a 4x4 full of the cages and clear this and other beaches, as passersby found out. Right now we have four beaches being cleaned up today. Wow. This one heavy duty. Uh -huh. And then we have East Beach, West Beach, and Miramar Beach. One fisherman lost most of his traps. Quite a few of the traps that we did find on the beach had moved as far as three, four miles from their original location. The traps will be hauled off in a dumpster to the Harbor parking lot where those who lost them in the storms can retrieve them. And a prevention plan is also in the works with the fishing industry. They've got a lot of viable solutions that we want to hear about and see if we can create some kind of task force to address this problem so it doesn't happen again. And we did hear from the fishing industry in Santa Barbara as well, and they were very aware of this problem all the way back to January. They are planning another cleanup that will be organized by the fishing industry. We'll hear more about that in the month of April, and we'll follow up, up on that cleanup as well. Reporting live on West Beach, or Ledbetter Beach this evening, I'm News Channel reporter John Palmentary. Thank you, John. Here's some photos of ongoing repairs on Highway 1 at Big Sur. Three major mudslides cut off the road back in January. The slopes in the different spots have been cut back to create more stability. Now they're just waiting on dry weather to finish repairs. They're hoping to reopen the northern part of the highway later this year.